12th man will definitely be ready here in Seattle for this week three matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the Seattle Seahawks. back with another video man this week we are taking on arizona now coming into this game we are one of the hottest team if not the hottest team in the nfl with our running game nick chubb you know tyler like dk metcalf but the person that makes it goes is trey and yeah, nick chubb end up getting hit man he ended up fumbling in the ball but that's okay though the line is giving trey plenty of time playmakers on the outside to go along with a running game you can't go wrong that's why they playing dominant right now a comeback route to DK Metcalf. That good is good for a first down. He already got three catches for 50 yards. And right here, we throw a strike to that boy Zay Flowers. And we end up with the first score on the game. As you can see, we are perfect so far. Three for two for two on third down. And you know, Pete Carroll, he just he just knows what play to to dial up just for this kid. You know what I mean? He's gonna continue to go right here. But first and goal, we just go running in, man. Touchdown, let's go. I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power football at its best. We are up 14 to 3, 35 seconds left before halftime. Let's see if we can dial something up. We hit the tight end green, and that's good for a first down. And we did not end up getting a field goal, man, but it's okay. We sit up 14 to 3. Quick pass to DK Metcalf, and that's good for a first down. No, I do want to apologize for everybody, man, for not for me not, you know, uploading how I regularly do. You know what I mean? But I mean I will get back to uploading how I regularly do, but for now it's just like it's just that excitement of, of playing and, and uploading content. NCAA football 14 revamp content is just not the same, man. Especially in the NCAA football, you know, community, a lot of big YouTubers, man. It just I don't, I don't know what it is, man. It's just a down drop right now. He's feeling but look at Trey. This is what he can do. <laughs> this is what he can do. He get tripped up, man. I can predict this dude gonna have over a thousand yard rushing for the season. Right here, this is why he's escaping for his life, man. But he picks up the first. Man, it's a big dude, man. Definitely a big, bigger than Cam Newton, I might add. So that goes to show you how big this dude really is. With a strong arm, man. The accuracy. That, oh, come on, Nick Chubb just got tripped up. Bro, it's just hard, bro. It, it's, bro, this this team is. I, I won't be surprised, bro. Yes, we going for a touchdown, man. I won't be surprised if you know a lot of y'all old heads, especially still fans, know that you know Big B ain't no winning Super Bowl as a Ricky. So so far, man, as we end up winning that game, man, twenty eight to three. But I, I won't be surprised if, if that was you know the outcome of this season, man. I would not be surprised. If we had 172, one touchdown, it won't be a lot of games to where we throw over three or 400 yards. It won't be like that, you feel me? And the reason I say that, because this is an NFL, man. This is an NFL that, you know, it won't be like college or high school, man. <laughs> you throw 506 touchdowns, it won't be like that, man. But let's get straight to gameplay number two. NFL matters so there's no doubt the players will be ready for this early season matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the Pittsburgh Steelers here at Heinz Field. Hello friends and welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here on the scene getting set for kickoff. Phil, it's all yours before we get the game started. Well, you know, Jim, we had a chance to talk to both teams. We saw they're excited about playing this game and when you get teams like this, it should be an exciting day. But moving forward to gameplay number two, man, we are Pittsburgh taking on them Steelers, man. They got a good young defense, you know, what if not probably the best safety in the NFL, Mikko Fitzpatrick. I don't know a lot of people might disagree, but we starting this game off right, boy. This dude, DK Metcalf, is a fucking beast, bro. As we end up getting in the end zone, as we break this scoreless game, man, we up seven to nothing right here. We showing off the big arm, DK Metcalf. And he gets tripped up, but not before a huge game. But we starting this game off right right now. 
Look at the strike to green. He, bro, that should have been a touchdown right there. But that's okay. We handing it off to Nick Chubb, and he finished off the drive, man. We are 14 and nothing. The defense is definitely playing how defense is supposed to play. And right here, bro, when I played this, I had to replay this, bro. This was very close. He didn't want the spin move, and his knee definitely was down before he got into the end zone. But I was going a little bit crazy because I thought he got in the end zone. But we're going to go ahead and sub in, you know, Walker the third. Like I said, we got a handful of running backs, bro, including Trey. You know what I mean? It's just that easy, man. Play action pass. And we get it out to the tight end general, the fullback, Johnson. And he steps out of bounds, picks up 22 on his probably his second or third catch on the season. But we up 21 to three play action pass. That pass is caught by DK, bro. This dude is a fucking linebacker playing receiver. He's inside the five. First and go on the one. We up 21 to three, but we're not messing around, man. Kenneth Walker, the third for his second score on the game. We up 28 to three. For the folks this morning, I am playing on all pro, but I will not. I will repeat, I will not play on all man in over here. I tried, you know, off, off camera. It just, nah. It just won't happen. If we can do a quick screen, pass a tighter lock it, bro. DK is making me want to play receiver for real. That dude is a fucking beast. <laughs> like, seriously. And we get it out to Zay Flowers. He picks up a first down on the play. Now, like I say, for my next series, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, disregard the content a little bit. As we get it out to tighter lock it, bro. Um... The story behind that, I know a lot of people want cornerback or safety or tight end. What I was thinking about, I just came up with this today, May 20th of this this year, bro. As you can see, man, we are paying Kenny Pickett, but it's, it's gonna be five brothers. You know what I mean? Um, they they grew up, man, from from you know yay high, you know, playing on the same team. You know what I mean? And all of them got college offered. Oh, gee, let's go. But all of them got college offered to the same school, except for the younger brother. Yep, the younger brother really didn't take football that serious. You know what I mean? And, you know, the four older brothers all committed to the same school because all of them want to continue to play together. You know what I mean? Won championships and whatnot. And I don't know why they challenging this, bro. I don't see what the point is, but let's listen to the play call. Inside. But eventually, younger brother caught on by, by the time at the end of his junior year season and going into his senior season. As we hit Nick Chubb on the screen pass, he kind of took it seriously and eventually, you know, got a scholarship to a different school, actually, than what his four older brothers, you know, committed to. And, you know, the four older brothers, they won championships and whatnot. They all was in the same draft class. And they all wanted to play for the same team, you know, because they brought up playing, you know, since playing on the same team since yeah. Feel me, but all of them got, you know, eventually drafted, you know, on different teams or whatnot. As you can see, 320 through the air, 72 completion percentage, 13 for 18. Not a bad two touchdowns, man. We definitely will get better passing the ball. We all know that he can run. I know you know what I mean. I know y'all want to see them passing highlights. And we will get to that. I mean, but back to this story, but on draft night, you know, they decided to take a trip because they was getting drafted or whatnot. You know, normal, usual day, you, you know, excitement of being drafted in the NFL. And, you know, they end up getting into a deadly car accident with a tractor trailer. The dude was uh, fell asleep at the wheel. And, you know, the youngest brother lost four of his older brothers that day. And so he, he definitely committed to, you know, getting to the NFL. But I'm going to continue this. But hold that thought. Let's get straight to gameplay number three. afternoon's matchup between the Seahawks and the Falcons. Now
Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Bill Sims. And I guess the big question, Bill, before a kickoff is what do you expect here today? Well, Jim, this is going to be fun to watch today. we got two teams out here. That, to me, I'm going to focus on the coaches today. With but eventually, you know what I mean, he ended up, you know, going to a different school or whatnot, the youngest brother. And, you know, he ended up making it to the NFL. That's what his four older brothers would want him, would have want him to want it to, to do. And I can't even talk, but I don't know what position to play. You know, some people want safety, some people want cornerback, and a lot of people do do that, you know, cornerback as a safety. You don't really see tight ends, though. Y'all see this video, y'all comment below what position y'all want the younger brother to play. You feel me? And once we get a feel for that, I will move forward on releasing that series. And right here, we taking on the dirty bird, bro. I'm telling you, DK Metcalf is a dog, bro. Like, for real. Trey got two rushing attempts for 84 yards already, bro. Like I said, we already know what he can do running the ball. We hit Zay Flowers across the middle. We up 10 to 6, taking on these dirty birds here in the ATL. Right here, playing up for time, and we hit DK Metcalf. What a catch and a first down. Now, will he win a Super Bowl like I see in the last video? Look at Tyler Lockett. Showing like the mighty mouse strength. Let's go. And we are 0, 2, 0 for 2 on third down. Something that you rarely see from this team. But read option, we in the end zone. Let's go. But we are currently on a hot streak right now. One of the hottest teams in the NFL, man. Tyler Lockett breaks one tackle. Don't get caught. And he is it in the end zone. Let's go. Boy, that dude hitting that cat daddy. <laughs> Y'all know what that is. Hitting that cat daddy, man. Let's go. Tyler Lockett and breaking it down. But y'all let me know if y'all rocking with that series, man. But I just need to know. I just need really. I know. I know. I know. I, know I put up a, you know, voting tab. A lot of people voting on cornerback, a safety. But you do see a lot of, you know, people doing, you know, cornerback and, and whatnot. You know series but i don't want to switch it up but i want to get an input from you all but we hit dk metcalf on the quick screen man and here's an update on nick chubb he got injured and he's out for four weeks but it's sorry for him but at that same time man we got other running backs that need to step up and they definitely will bro we dropped this shit straight into the bread basket tired of luck we out dueling desmond ritter right now man this dude trey campbell dude this dude is special, man. Like I say, will he have that that rookie season like Ben, like Big Ben had in real life? When Big Ben won a Super Bowl, I think his rookie season or his first season, bro. We get in the end zone once again. You love to see it, Kenneth Walker the third, bro. Man, you love to see other people eat, bro. Let's go. We you got Rashard Penny, bro. Y'all forgot about Rashard Penny as we end up handing it to the AZL Dirty Bird, man. The hottest team in the NFL, man. We end up winning 52 to 6. 52 to 6. You know, week from week to week, like I say, it won't be no crazy stat. You know, we had 170 something passing through there. This last game, we had 320 something. So week from week to week, it will change. But DK Metcalf, four cases, 42 yards, and the score. Tyler Lockett, three receptions, 116 and one score. We got Godwin. You know, 47 season yards in the score, man. Yeah, Zay Flowers with that one catch. We will get better at passing the ball. You feel me? I promise you that. Nick Chubb, 73 rushing yards. Kenneth Walker, 73. Trey Campbell, 141 and two score. Rashad Penny, 20 rushing yards in the score, man. But like I said, you just can't key in on one. But as far as rushing the ball, you know, Nick Chubb went down. But we got a heap of other running backs that are able to do it. Three passing touchdowns on the game, man. But... It's your boy, Sarah, he logging out to next video, man. And I'm up out of here. The tree. I want to salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret, everything that you done with me. Because it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.